Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you well from wherever you're watching this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. So Museveni has delivered a sad message to William Samoy Ruto's regime. If you have been observant enough for the couple like two months, one to two months, the relationship between Uganda and Kenya has not been rosy. It is unlike before. Therefore, when Deputy President Ruto comes here, he is supporting the ideology of the NRM, which is nationalism in Uganda and Pan-Africanism in Africa. Opportunities for young people so that we can eliminate poverty and create jobs. Ironically, early when addressing a joint press conference with President Chairman 7 at Kapchora State Lodge, Ruto said he had not come to campaign for President Chairman 7. I think President Museveni has been campaigning in Uganda for a very long time. And he has sufficient experience. And he has uh, sufficient knowledge. I do not think he requires the support of Kenyans to campaign for him to be elected by the people of Uganda. When Museveni could frequent Kenya and uh, William Ruto could frequent Uganda, the latest remarks from the government of Yoweri Museveni is that it will seize reliance on Kenya for sourcing petroleum product citing challenges occasioned by Kenya's government-to-government -government fuel deal with the Gulf. You see, this G2G, what is, you hear G2G, is government-to-government -government policy. That is, I think from what I understand, government-to-government -government is that the brokers have been eliminated in the you know in that chain they're not going to deal with uh, maybe petrol with oil dealers but they are going to directly involve with the government in that gulf country probably if it's saudi arabia so it's g to g the government of kenya to the government of that oil company so Museveni is saying that because of kenya's g to g policy he is going to cut ties or going to seize reliance on Kenya for sourcing petroleum products because this policy he has seen it being experimented in Kenya and Kenya suffered you know when Kenya had to buy oil in, in Kenya shillings Kenya ended up suffering and that is why you find that mafuta ekwele bei iko sahi so currently over 90 percent of Uganda's product is sourced through the port of Mombasa, the rest through the port of Dar es Salaam. Museveni's administration now says Kenya's government-to-government -government deal has exposed the economy to occasional supply vulnerabilities where the Ugandan OMCs were considered secondary whenever there were supply disruptions. Uganda stated that these vulnerabilities posed additional challenges resulting in Uganda receiving relatively costly products and ultimately impacting the retail pump prices. So on October 23rd, Uganda's cabinet uh, approved amendment of the Petroleum Supply Act 2003 through the Petroleum Supply Chain Bill 2023 and has transmitted the bill to parliament for approval. So the government has effectively mandated Uganda National Oil Company Limited to source and supply the petroleum products to the licensed oil marketing companies. So this is a, a major blow to Kenya's economy because now that means Uganda will be dealing with the oil suppliers, I think directly, not through Kenya. First, again, it will avoid using the, Ken the, 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 the Kenyan Mombasa port. And this is going to affect the revenue of Kenya and the business to business, you know, bilateral uh, ties between these two countries, Kidogo and Achini, Nikama in Andachini. So I think uh, there is another move here which I see, you know, a move over, 
Uganda to now in, in, increase uh, business cooperation with the uh, Tanzania, uh, especially through the Dar es Salaam port, uh, because now the reality is dawning on Museveni that oh, this man I supported, see you later in the near. Your Excellency William Ruto. I think that is the message that's lingering in uh, Yoweri Museveni's uh, mind right now. Or either Yoweri Museveni realizes that Kenya is working with the US. Now, because Yoweri Museveni does not want to do anything to do with the US, he could be decided to now cut ties with Kenya because he was denied a loan. Yeah, you remember that uh, narrative, we, that, that video we did here? When number seven was denied a loan by the world, uh, the, by the World Bank, just because of uh, the LGBTQ uh, policy that Uganda introduced, we did uh, an analysis on that. Uh, we don't want to go back to that analysis, but uh, the facts are there in the in our previous videos. So, Museveni could have seen that ah, since who you anafanya na US, eh, wazungu wale ambao anampiga Museveni vita but let me cut ties with them i will i will probably maybe engage the gulf directly so i think there is a move here of course we know that uh, uganda is a landlocked country you know they still depend on either mombasa port or dar es salaam port they will still depend on that seven is uh, trade ties with dar es salaam port ama with tanzania itapanda why? Because of the U.S. influence on Kenya. I don't know whether you, you have a different mindset or different opinion to it, but that's my personal opinion regarding what I see in uh, Museveni's move. What do you think could be the case, ladies and gentlemen? Okay. Uh, let's just wind up there. And uh, you can just go below the comment section and tell us what you think about Museveni's statement to william ruto regarding cutting or with, with regarding seizing reliance on kenya for sourcing petroleum products yeah. now to those who have not subscribed to this channel i'd like to urge you to subscribe to this channel give this video a like and don't forget to hit the notification bell and to those who have supported this channel by either subscribing liking or sharing our videos i want to say here that i'm forever grateful for that support because without you this channel cannot grow. So until you catch up again, please stay safe and stay blessed.